Come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with corn and soybean experts about best practices in pest control, ag issues, and how growers can get more from every acre. All you need is a minute. We're headed to West Lafayette, Indiana to talk with Kirsten Wise, Extension Specialist at Purdue University, about fungicide use. Choosing the right foliar fungicide isn't as simple as picking one off the shelf. It involves thoughtful consideration of variables like field conditions, irrigation status, and hybrid selection. And that's just the beginning. Kirsten, thanks for having us out here. It's my pleasure. When you're talking to growers about the decision to use a fungicide, uh, what are the main factors that you want to discuss with them? Right, so there's several factors we want farmers to think about before deciding on a fungicide application. So when I talk to them, I'm talking to them about hybrid susceptibility to foliar diseases. We talk about crop production practices like rotation, what the tillage system is, or irrigation. And then we also talk about timing, you know, planting date, and things like application timing. When we're talking about hybrid susceptibility, how does that affect the decision? Well, the hybrid susceptibility will influence the risk of foliar disease development. And our research shows that when we're applying fungicides to hybrids that are more resistant to foliar diseases, that we're not as likely to see a benefit from the fungicide application. So high susceptibility in a hybrid is a green light to use a fungicide. That's right. Uh, other practices and environmental issues like uh, tillage, rotation, and irrigation, how do they impact the decision? Well, all of those things are going to influence the risk for disease to develop in a given field. And so things like tillage and rotation are going to influence how much residue is in the field. And this is important because the fungi that cause some of our foliar diseases are going to survive from year to year in the residue. So fields with more residue are going to be at higher risk for disease development. And then practices like irrigation are just constantly creating an environment that's favorable for disease. So here's an example of a grower using some best practices and yet that's creating an environment where a fungicide might be necessary. That's right. And then we come to timing. How does timing impact the decision to use a foliar application? Well, timing is critical. And if we think about when we're planting late, and in the Midwest that would really be late May or early June, the corn plant will be at a younger growth stage often when it's infected by disease. So there's more opportunity to, for it to be affected by disease development. And then we also think about timing as the fungicide application timing window. And our research shows that we get the best benefit from a fungicide application when we're applying at that tasseling to early silking window. Our fungicides are such that we can apply them from very early in the growth stage to all the way almost up to harvest. But what we find through our research is that the, the best chance for an economic return from a fungicide application is going to be in that tasseling timing. Now sometimes we might see some yield gains when we apply a little earlier and sometimes when we apply a little later, but that sweet spot is really going to be that tasseling early silking window. But that's why a fungicide needs that wide window of application possibility and also a wide spectrum of disease control. Right. We want broad spectrum fungicides because the diseases that we might have to control are going to vary from year to year. And also our fungicides have 14 to 21 days of activity in the plant. And so we want to make sure that we're timing our application so that it maximizes the, the benefits we get from the fungicide. Now, what are the diseases that are having the biggest impact on potential yield? Right, so in the Midwest, we worry most about northern corn leaf blight and gray leaf spot. Those are the two that annually have the highest chance of causing yield loss. And what advice would you give a grower who's out there scouting for those diseases? So scouting is really critical because we want to see where the disease is and how much disease is there prior to making a fungicide application. And so the things to think about while scouting are going to be what's the hybrid susceptibility to disease and where are you seeing the disease on the plant. And when selecting a fungicide for efficacy, I understand you have some resources to help folks with that. Yes. We actually, as plant pathologists, we created a corn fungicide efficacy table. And this uses all of the data that we have as corn pathologists from our efficacy trials. And so we meet every year and we decide, okay, well, how do these fungicides rank against certain diseases? And we update that annually. Now, misidentification is an issue sometimes. What kind of help can a grower get? You can always take samples and send them into a diagnostic lab for a good diagnosis. And, and that's really critical because a good diagnosis is, is the key um, to good management. So I'm a grower and I have decided to use a fungicide. What application tips do you have for me? Right, so I always go back to what's the hybrid susceptibility to disease because that has a big influence on the success of a fungicide application. And also, 
timing is very critical. We want to make sure that we're protecting the ear leaf and above at that critical tasseling and silking window. And so always making sure that we're scouting prior to tasseling so that we can line up an application at tasseling is important. And in terms of stewardship, uh, what are the best practices for a fungicide program for sustainability? This is a good question because we want to make sure our fungicides are around for us to use for a long time. And so one of the things I advocate is we can sit down and we can go through our fields and see which will be at high risk for disease development, but it's also important to go out and scout prior to tasseling to see if disease is actually there. Because there's going to be some years where just the environment's just not favorable for disease development and a fungicide application may not be needed. What motto would you have for growers? So my motto is timing is everything. We see the best success with well-timed fungicide applications and I want growers to think about timing when they're using their fungicides. Well, thanks for spending this time with us. It's my pleasure. Kirsten offered some great insights into how fungicides can impact yield. When choosing a fungicide, don't forget about the importance of application timing, which is why you should consider Preemptor SC fungicide. It offers an extended application window. That's about it for this episode of The Minute. Till next time, I'll see you down the road when you have a minute.